friends and neighbors welcome to another production of the program here we are on tv once again once again every day turning machines and live forever here we go i'm alive i made all the way back around here to Saturday. Who would have thought I would have made it this long? I made myself some utility food today. I'm going to be eating it on the table, but I think when I'm going over there on the couch part, I'm going to uh, sustain, unstain, Epstein. Um, it's Saturday. Oh, look, somebody's getting out of the car. Uh, well, we, uh oh. We do this. Get live. Go live here. Go live there. You can call the number up there. It's uh, oh no, it's over there. It's uh, three six zero eight three six zero three eight four. Get yourself on TV, my beloved friends out there in TV land. Thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. It's uh, uh, Saturday. Yesterday on Friday, I was here in the evening, probably around 6, 5 or 6 o'clock, and uh, what was I doing? What were we doing yesterday? Talking to, uh, well, we finished up Grandma's birthday. We were listening to some yellow fellow messages. <laughs> I think I talked to my brother for a minute. Uh, that's about as far back as it goes in my memories now uh, about that, about yesterday. But what a day, really. I'm like, what did we do? What, did it, what was it even? I left the tape here. That's, uh oh. I wonder if I ever took the tape out of the thing. That's. I don't know if the system is. How's the system? I don't know. I don't know how the system is going right now. Maybe, I wonder if I changed the tape out last night. I changed the names. Like, here's this thing. What do I do? Check the tape? Or do I uh, uh, skip through it? I thought that, like, I thought that I had had the tape, but then I didn't have the tape. And I'm like, where is this thing? So. We're going to have a little glitch out here. Of a glitch out, but where's yesterday's tape, though? Did I put it in the car? I know I had it, um, well, yesterday, but did I write on it? That's the question. And if I did write on it, then where did it go? Friday. Yeah, I don't remember. All I know is that when I got back home, the tape was gone. And, uh, I mean, that's where I was at. I would think that I would have marked the tape. That tape is not marked. Fluke, here's, this is Fluke. Yesterday, today was, today was, um, oh, here it is. Yep. Good. Good, good, good. Freddy's moving things around. It's working out. Okay, so this is yesterday's tape. That's today's tape. Today is Saturday. Yesterday was Friday. All worked out. Okay, Friday the 4th. I, uh, what? Went to here yesterday doing this. Drove home after the program. After the program, my batteries didn't charge correctly, so I couldn't play Mario. And it looks like they charged today because it was green. Like yesterday, they were red. I was like, what happened? Did not charge correctly? Today I believe it charged correctly, so maybe I'll be playing some Mario a little bit after this. Um, I went home in the in the car today, yesterday, and I made it back. My brother had made uh, El Pastor, they call it, which is just chunks of pork, I guess, cooked pork. It's the swine, uh, you know. Maybe I just, I'm I'm letting down like uh, the Wu Tang Clan a little bit by eating the swine. But it's okay. I'm still in the swine, Freddy. 
now fighting the Wu Tang Clan, um, and we'll eat the swine. It was pork tacos. My brother made tacos, and we ate them. And uh, I'm watching the Purge series. I'm going through the Purge. Have you seen the movies of the Purge? There's a lot of them. Uh, didn't do the capturing because I left the tape here. I got double capture duties tonight. Double duty. And uh, I'm going to be doing that tonight. But last night, what did I do last night then if I'm not capturing? Just watching TV and doing nothing. My back kind of hurts. I've got like that that thing that my brother had. I think when you don't do it, things and then it hurts your back. Cause I was doing things and now I'm not doing things. Like I'm just sitting there all day. Uh, my job is very inactive. It requires it's on the computer. It requires very little movement. And I've been sitting for too long and then my back hurts and I got to exercise. Haven't been exercising enough. Could be exercising more. Uh, but I uh, did exercise a little bit, and then I went to, uh, yeah, I mean, when I didn't exercise at all, I've been walking a little bit. I did go to Tacoma today. I walked around the block in the rain, and then charged the car and came back. What a life. Um... And then came back to my home again for a minute to charge the car some more. And then came down here, and that's what I've been doing. So what, what is, what's happening, you know, in the world? Uh, it's the weekend, and it's weird because there's, like, days off. <laughs> you have days on, and you got days off. Days on, days off. Today is my day off, and so when I wake up, I'm like, what am I going to do? today. I uh, usually got my day full of things to do five days a week and then on the weekends not as much things. Maybe I should plan harder for things. I ate uh, this what fried rice for breakfast and I wanted to eat utility rice food because I wasn't very hungry. So I'm going to go over there and eat that re utility food which is just like rice and peas. Rice and peas. Uh, it's going to be going with the pills. It's like pills and rice. That's what, that's what all you need to eat. Like the, the, the pill, or the food is, is just um, vehicle, or the food, yeah, the food is just vitamin vehicles anyway. So I'm going to be eating that rice and it'll be a good vitamin vehicle because it says eat with food. Except for the, the fiber pills and the, 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 the probiotic pills, those ones don't say eat with food. They just say, I don't know if they mention anything. I don't know if the beet pills do either. The beet pills and spirulina pills are maybe food in themselves, but they're in pill form. You could eat all your food in pill form, but then when you're going to chew. And, well, I guess I was going to say something about fiber, right? I got fiber pills, but, uh, I don't know, if my food, if, eat, uh, food, it says eat with food, but if, what if the pills are the food, and then what, then what do I do, answer that one, pill makers, what do I do, big pharma, they call it, oh man, are you afraid of big pharma, they're gonna come down and get you, I'm a little bit, because they're charging all the money for drugs, it's like, hey, I need those drugs to live, maybe, and then they go, like, you need these to live? And then they're going to charge a lot. Supply and demand. But maybe they got a big, well, they got a big supply, but they have a really big demand, I guess. Or it's supposed to be like amount of demand, not like individual demand. Or maybe it's a combination of the two. It's like, I really demand that. Like, one person demands it really hard, that's enough. Or if everybody demands it a little bit, and I think it, it adds up to about a similar amount of demand. Three people want to demand 25%. One person wants to demand 75%. Same amount of demand. Uh, I don't know what else. I'm trying to think about yesterday and what we were doing here, but I, maybe is it because of the tape? 
He's like, if there's no tape, then I don't remember. Then that doesn't really work out all the way. Freddie was here earlier doing something, probably more uh, computer stuff. His like, table is cleaned off, and, the, and yesterday's episode was moved. And I'm going to get it today. I had to find it. Um, listen to Diamonds from the Dollar Bin a little bit right before this, but I didn't listen to it all. I listened to some of it in the car. Uh, I was walking around in the rain, but my back kind of is messed up. And I remember when my brother was doing nothing, like he has a job now. There was a minute there when he didn't even have a job. This was years ago. And then I was like, I, he's like, my back is messed up from sitting in a chair forever. And I'm like, that's crazy. How come that happened? I think it's happening to me. And what am I going to, what am I going to do? Exercise? I really don't like to exercise, but maybe it's time. I'm going to have to get the exercise bike or something. Uh, and then bike, well, bike while I work. Can't be out of breath. I'm not supposed to be out of breath, though. Maybe I'm going to just do those steps, get back to doing the steps. I haven't even been doing the steps or the sit-ups. I was doing, like, steps and sit-ups for, like, a couple of weeks. I was doing, like, 200 or so steps and, like, you know, 20, 30 sit-ups, 20, 30 push-ups. But recently, it's been, I mean, it's been weeks. So I haven't done a single morsel of exercise in weeks. And uh, is, is it going to negatively affect me? I think I had gone, well, I, I guess I was always biking. Well, was I always biking? I did have a car for a while. I wonder if I was exercising even in the slightest bit in like 2012, 2011, 2012 when I was doing the pizza job and uh, driving to the studio. The studio was up, up there by the Capitol and I was driving right there and the parking lot was right next to the thing. So I was like parking the car, then walking into the studio, and I don't think I was exercising then. I had probably had a bike, but I probably never used that bike, and I uh, wonder if I exercised then, but uh, maybe I was young. I don't remember. Maybe it's happening to me. They always told me, uh, my family they said, if you don't get better posture, then you're gonna have back problems, and maybe it's a, is it finally happening? And they said if you don't get up off your lazy uh, behind at all, <laughs> you're gonna have a back problem from sitting there in the recliner forever. I never get up anymore. I did go for a pretty long walk today, though. Well, maybe it was a mile. <laughs> I went on one mile of a walk, and now my shoes are kind of wet. Maybe it's time to get out the new shoes. These shoes, I got them at Costco. I got them after mm, March, because I got the vaccine in March. I went to Costco. I didn't go back to Costco until I had the vaccine. I was fully vaccinated, so then I went to Costco, and I got these shoes. And I get, did get a second pair of backup shoes, and I've been wearing these ones like for a while, and they are pretty uh, uh, worn, but I don't think... I mean, I was walking like directly in the rain, so hard to know. Hard to know when to change my shoes out. I do want to wait until they're like totally dead. And maybe I have more time before I pull out the other ones. I should have bought the same ones. Well, the other ones I think have a little bit of red on them. I always think, like whenever I end my shoes, I'm always like, man, I liked these shoes. I should have bought two pairs of the same shoes. But you start wearing the new shoes and eventually they grow on you or me and I like them again, so it'll probably happen most, most likely. I will get over these shoes and be into the new shoes. I think I've been wearing these shoes since March, maybe April. April, May, June, July, August, September, December. That's like almost nine months. Not quite. And they were like the Costco shoes are like only $20 or something like that. So definitely much less than $1 a day to wear shoes. Uh, eight months, 30, 20, 240 days, approximately. So that's like, what, a, a dime? A dime a day. A dime a day to wear your shoes. And I have been wearing the shoes every day. I don't think there's, well, yeah, not since March. There was a time I wasn't putting on shoes, but that was like last March. 
last April. I wasn't putting on shoes. I didn't put on shoes for like a month or two. Uh, but I was exercising then. I was exercising a good amount then, though, because I did, well, I just had 24 hours of days and I had like you know when we had the month. It was a weird month when there was no reason to wake up or go to sleep for me. And I was just in that house and putting on shoes and doing sit-ups and playing video games and watching TV at the same time. I watched so much TV and played video games at the same time through that period. Uh, but now it's kind of weirdly over, but maybe I wonder if I'm still, I never got over that time. It was a, it was a weird time. I was like, hey, am I doing nothing? Hey, it's my favorite thing. Nothing. But it was long. I always wanted to be uh, like a dog, have a dog life. It's like, hey, I don't do anything. People come home and they give you money, or I guess they give you money indirectly, but they give you food and they rub your head and they say, good dog. And then you say, that's right, I don't go to work. I'm just waiting at home. And then I did it and it was long. And that's the time right there. I'm gonna go over there and try this utility food. It's gonna be great. Okay, let's see who's on the um, uh, phones. Oh, not yellow fellow, but Bird and Mark the guitar player and Freddie. Hey, how you doing? Been a while, long time no see, no hear. Uh, yep, a uh, couple, few times uh popped up on YouTube when you guys are live uh, just a couple times, maybe uh, about a week ago or so. Anyway, just thinking about you. Sorry I've been in kind of a funk and maybe just uh, not feeling like, uh, you know, too social or anything like that. But uh, anyway, just uh, wanted to say hello and uh Happy Hanukkah. Looks like uh, we might be getting some close to freezing temperatures. So uh, take care of those sensitive outdoor plants and maybe uh, winterize your your outdoor water faucets and stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, uh, I miss you. And I uh, guess I'm just uh, feeling a little more... Uh, Oh, like, uh, you know, reaching out and saying hello. So uh, I hope you're doing well. I uh, try to tune into some more episodes, uh, recent ones, to get caught up on all the latest and see what's new. The last one I saw looked like uh, Freddie was in the studio there with the host, Kenrick. So... All right, I hope you guys are doing real well, and uh, I miss you. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, bird. Well, let's just get through these, and then we'll call everybody back, so. Hi, Kenny. Hi, uh, 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 Freddie and stuff. I was wondering, this is Mark. I was wondering if you'd possibly uh, not call no more. Uh, I'm uncomfortable with that. Oh, have a nice day. Bye. I'm not calling you, Mark. Oh, man. <laughs> That's weird. I haven't called you in like a week. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Freddie. How you doing? Well, I left a message not to call because it's uncomfortable because we have a problem with our toilet. That's bad news. I wonder. Uh, we're doing all right. We're trying to get up those stinking cigarettes. They're nasty. Yeah. Uh, we want to make sure they use the money properly, maybe for grocery or something. That's cool. Oh, boy, Sam. We got the two shots. That's good. You guys ought to come over and have coffee sometime. That's cool. Uh, we're something. Maybe you don't drink coffee. I don't know. Uh, come on over. You don't have to bring that. Hey, hold on. Really. You don't have to bring that uh, uh, recording gear. No, that's too much hassle. It'd be kind of cool if you just came over and talked. That's cool. You know. Yeah, that's cool. So anyway, uh, Kenny, and ready? 
You have a guy. I hope your Thanksgiving went well. That's cool. <laughs> Ours went kind of cool. Anyway, this is Mark Green back in. Uh, give us a call. 456 Do you Mark? Prefix 364. Thank you. Bye. Do you or don't, Mark? Well, anyway, okay. Well, I guess I guess you said call. Hey there, I left. I uh, emailed you guys about uh, potentially participating as a crew member. My name's Samuel. Um, Y'all can call me back at this number. I don't know when a good time to call is. But, uh, yeah, love what you guys do. And Thank I you, Mara, you. Sam. I uh, hope you enjoy your week. Thank you. Hey, program, this is Freddie. Um, it's Colin because there's a lot of stuff happening today. I'm probably going to be there on TV, but uh, there's just, like, uh, they had that toy drive with all the motorcycles going by. Uh, there was this, like, weird pop-up shop thing, like in an alleyway, even though it's super rainy, and then um, the art, you know, like with the art commission, this dedic had a dedication of this new art piece for the Arts Crossing uh, project, and what else happened? Um, oh, I saw some people uh, who like the environment standing outside of City Hall on a Saturday when no one is in City Hall at all. Uh, let's see. Are you? What else? What? That seems like a very time? busy day. What'd you say? Where are you? Oh, I'm at, uh, Olympia Coffee Roasters on the west side. Oh, okay. Madeline's closing, and it's, uh, one of our co-workers' birthdays today, so we're gonna go hang out with them after this. Happy birthday. Estate sale. Happy birthday, America. Dylan. Talk. All kinds of things, so... Wow, lots of stuff happening lots in the world today. Lots of stuff happening in the Weird. world, huh? Why is it so busy? Anyway, either give me a call back, or I guess I'm listening to this message right now. Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah. Oh, Hello, yeah. future you self. Me. Hello. Thank you. There you are. You're welcome. I forgot. I forgot about um, that you're that you weren't there on the, on the video. You know. I know. Yeah, you can see me on the TV or in the little monitor there. So. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah, man, that was a really cool little art, uh, what do you call it? Dedication. What did I call it? Dedication? Or, yeah. It was, it was a dedication. It was, it was awesome because it was like, um, Native Squawkson artist. And so they had, like, the drum people and, like, a little dancing and, they were like talked the best. I mean, one of the best parts was he was talking. There was a guy who kind of talked about um, the past, present, and future. He's like talked about their ancestors uh -huh. who lived on the land and had walked here, and then now they're like they're like uh, the present. They're the artists um, who like made this piece, and then their children are gonna look back and like think of her as an ancestor, like. At this in this like permanent art piece in Olympia, it was pretty awesome, actually. Good. And it's good art. It's like a it's like a house post, or two house posts they call them, I guess. Which is I don't know exactly know, but it's these like figures on either side of the roadway. Uh, very good. I I mean of the public art I've seen in the time I've been on that arts commission, it's probably like the best thing that's happened. If you had to call it, you know, the best thing. Where? Where? Are the... You know, uh, where the Karen Fraser Trail starts. That's that trail that's, um, where is it? It's like, basically, from downtown Olympia, you can, like, ride a bike trail all the way to Lacey without any stops. Yeah. And it, like, connects with the Chehalis Western Trail. It's right before the downtown Olympia start of that. So it's like, there's this freeway overpass, and there's one of these uh, statues, I guess, or one of these house posts on either side of that freeway overpass bridge. Like, by Wheeler. 
Yeah, 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 by Wheeler. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. I think that is, is that the spot where, like, if you go down Wheeler and you don't stop in time, then you crash through the bridge and land on the freeway? Yep, that's Th the one. That's happened several times. <laughs> yeah, that spot. Yeah. People really like to go really fast on Wheeler, but then I think their brakes don't always work. Yeah. Or if they reinforce the, um, that, uh, railing. Or maybe, did they put the house post there? Maybe, <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, no, it's off to the other side, so that's not going to get hit by anybody, like, you know, careening off the, um, off the overpass. And it was also that, like, motorcycle kids drive day thing, where the, like, motorcycle people, like, drive through downtown, and then I guess they're giving kids presents. I don't really know the presents part, but, like, the part you, I experience is, like, there's just motorcycles driving really loudly through the center of downtown for like an hour and then everywhere you go you like look around at the bars and there's just like motorcycles parked outside of all the bars afterwards yeah. but I think it's good it's a good holiday uh, tradition they like usually like look like Santa Claus on the bike and stuff you know yeah they used to be uh, bad guys the bikers yeah they might still be bad guys it's just they give presents to kids that's all it's not like they're not bad guys. Like even bad guys give um, presents to kids. Do they? Are they even like back in the time? Were they bad? Were they doing crime? Motorcycle gangs? Yeah. I, I don't know. Were... What's the first like motorcycle culture? I know there was like racing motorcycles in the past. Well, that's, like, that's a big like, part of it. You know, just like the Hell's Angels or something. Yeah, I mean they were bad for sure. That was like I in think, the like, like, 60s. In the 60s. Maybe it's like motorcycles are like really way faster than cars and like more maneuverable than cars. So if you're going to do crime, it's like the obvious vehicle because it's like faster than a car and more maneuverable than a car. What kind of crime do they do? Oh, like whatever crime it is, you can get a like think about like, oh, I did a crime. I need to like escape yeah. on foot. No, you're way too slow. Bicycle. Should Bicycle. I escape in a car? It's like you could, but then if you get into traffic, you're in trouble and like if there's other cars chasing you that's why there's even like motorcycle i feel like motorcycle cops became about because of things like the hell's angels and like uh, people doing a crime and then escaping on the I, uh, yeah i saw that motorcycle gang this, this afternoon actually because they were in the lane i remember there was like three of them in like next to each other in one lane you know oh yeah definitely wow is that how's the legality <laughs> but uh they don't care. i mean Today they're like pretty much Santa Claus. So yeah. today, today just you gotta forget about all other possible things. Plus, like crime is weird anyway. Like what I is crime? I wonder if they actually. I don't think they were bad. They just uh, maybe. I think they did a lot of meth. Oh yeah, that could be. But that's that's, that's usually the thing that are criminalized. What do we do with like a bunch of extra pastries? What kind? Are you um, gonna stop by? Are you gonna? I guess the studio is not on, on a one-way road the wrong way. We're driving away. We're going to this thing. Are you oh, you want to say hi on the program? Hi. Hi. Bye. Hey. Um, bring if you're gonna go to an event, bring the pastries and give them away. Oh, that's a clever idea. I think that's <laughs> what we'll do. All just... right. Have a good program. Oh yeah, Mark. Bye, Mark, viewers. Mark Bye, marathoners. Said to call back. He said, "Don't call back." And then the next message, he said, "Do call back." So I guess I'm gonna call him back. Okay, bye. Whatever he said. Whatever he said last, like his most recent thing. Yeah. That's the one to follow for sure. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, and that guy, the the um. The, 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 the new in or the new crew member, the Alex. The new crew member called Zoo, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, I can't wait to watch this one. I wanted to. I, I realized what we should have said in the email is not um, call the number. We should have said first, "Welcome to the crew, Alex." Oh, yeah. Call did the you, number. Did you ever email him? I did not email him, but uh, maybe if you uh, if you call him and get a hold of him, say, "Welcome to the crew." That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, bye. Oh, there he goes. Um. Uh, 608 area code, this guy. Maybe I should call Mark first. Oh, that's okay. Or Bird. I'm calling this guy first. 
Who is this guy? Hello? Hello, Samuel. Yes? Hi, it's the program. We're on TV. How are ya? Oh, I'm good. How are you doing? I am good also. You want to get on the crew? Oh, I'm supposed to say welcome to the crew. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Yeah. Means a lot. Yeah, maybe I should have a more ar uh, arduous process. I mean, you know, I, I felt you know, felt a little tested. You know, you got to make sure that you get the right people, right? Yeah. Like, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, you know, like, you got to stand outside all night with the, uh, like, sign in your mouth, like, college kids, you know? Right, and you want, like, people to recite Shakespeare sonnets and stuff, and, you know, but you show I don't off want, your knowledge for a little bit. Then they're going to, then they're going to be doing, if I do that, then they're going to be too... Uh, wild, you know. I want, I want, we want to keep it easy, take it easy here. It causes a little, yeah. It causes a little attention, yeah. How'd you find us? Uh, I have seen your show before when I was up late at night because I used to work overnight and I used to be on Chaos and sometimes on Chaos, people would talk about your show. So, mm. you know, yeah. I'm into. I, I like it. You know. That's good. How's it's Chaos cool. doing? Chaos is good. Uh, right now, no DJs can be in, so I haven't been on in a while. But I had a I had a morning show for oh geez, it was a, over two years. I was the Sunday morning person. What did you do on the show? Uh, I did I did a lot of local music. I would do a lot of research. I would you know go through our CD library and download music onto my computer and play it then and things like that and then I do some office stuff too like I help uh, people who are interested being DJs um, there's like an orientation program thing it's like a class I help put that on so on and so forth just like little things yeah did you get the uh, did you get the booster I did yeah I got the booster hey that's good that's like a new where uh vaccine mandate for the crew now, you know? Okay, cool. Yeah, I got it. Good. I got it. Um, we're doing... We're, the big project we're working on right now... I mean, have you seen the... you seen the show? We have very little production, you know? Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the studio... Our studio is downtown. Do you know where our studio is? It's... Is it the Olympia Press Building down it, there? It is. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And you can see up in the window. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's you the could, signs and everything. Yeah, you could come in for an episode if, since you got the booster. That's okay. Um, if you want to right. come in and see the studio. But uh, the uh, we're working on getting the... Uh, you Do you watch the YouTube ever? Yeah. We're doing that, you know, we're doing that YouTube live stream thing now. You know about that? Yeah, I think you're you're like airing past episodes, right? That's right. We're airing past episodes, and we're so what we're doing right now, Freddie. You know, Freddie, producer. Um. Yeah. yeah. Freddie is uh, working on downloading episodes. From YouTube that are only on YouTube, so then we have them all on hard drives. Uh, okay, yeah. And that's like the main thing. You you want to help out with that? Yeah, I'd be interested. That sounds like fun, you know. And I'd love to come check out the studio sometime. I got the uh, weekends off. I don't work on Thursdays, Fridays, or Saturdays. Well, three days. I have the weekends off also. Cool. Um, but you should. I uh, uh, I guess maybe. Freddie will email you with, with details about how you can help doing this project. Okay, That's awesome. It. Yeah, and then maybe we could work out a good time for me to drop by. I don't know what time you guys are in the studio usually, but I could just come on by on one of these weekends and say well, what's up and you can meet me. Yeah, Monday through Friday I'm, I work like 9 to 5 job, so I'm here at like 6-ish usually. And then on the weekends it's kind of up in the air, but usually it's around 6-ish also anyway. 
Okay, cool. Well, if, if this is a cell phone number, what? I can text you. This is the program. Like, oh, We're on the program. Oh, like literally right now? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Right now. Oh, what's up, everybody? That's really cool. <laughs> We're talking about the program. What did you eat for breakfast? Uh, for breakfast this morning, let's see, I had a bagel with lox. Um from San Francisco Street Bakery. Oh, it was really okay. good. And then I got some uh, sea salt and vinegar chips and a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's good stuff. What, cream cheese or? Yeah, there's cream cheese. Yeah, I, I get the garlic and chive cream cheese. I like that. Yeah, and then what is Lox's salmon? Is that right? Yeah, smoked salmon. Yeah, it's really good. I got it on an onion bagel. What's the difference between just like saying smoked salmon and locks? Uh, I think it's the way that they cut it and the way that they, it's like smoked salmon, but it's the way that they cut it. I'm not entirely sure. Hold on. I'm in front of my computer. I'll, I'll uh, Google no, it. No, no, look it up. That's a... Uh, no, no. Keep it a mystery. No, well, you keep it a mystery or you... It's like... Like, we don't need to look it up. Okay. <laughs> All know, right. I don't actually <laughs> want to know. I want to know. It. I don't... I want to know, know what you, what's in your mind, you know? Yeah, what I'm, what I'm ruminating on right now. I don't know, nothing oh. like about, about locks or something, you know? I don't, I'm not like, hey, what's the actual answer, Google? You know, I'm like, what are you, what's, well, in your mind, sure. what is the difference? And then, and then I can call the next person and I can ask them too. And they're like, why are you asking oh, me that? Oh, okay. You know? I see, yeah. Well, to me, I think that locks is, it's thin. It's fairly thin, like almost translucent thin, and you put it on sandwiches or bagels. But you can put smoked salmon, it's more like crumbly, and you can put that on a salad or serve it as its own dish. But I feel like I feel like lox goes on things, and yeah. smoked salmon can be served more on its own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do, that's good. Yeah, Google or whatever, the phones are conversation killers, I think, you know? I feel that, yeah. Cool. All right. Totally. What'd you have for breakfast? Uh, egg fried rice. Right on. Yeah. That's what's up. That's good. Um, yeah, yeah. All right. Most important meal of the day. That's what they say, but I also that was uh, um, a um, cereal commercial tactic. Yeah. We're gonna email you, or I guess I don't know if we email you again. Call, keep calling though. Sure. Uh -oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead and email me, and then uh, I'll just, uh, you know, drop by this weekend. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. This weekend, like tomorrow? No, I work tomorrow. I, I, I guess next weekend. Next I weekend. Work okay, yeah. we'll call, we'll, wait, next, you want to come on next Saturday? Sure, yeah, that works for me. All right. All right. Well, call back before that, and we'll get a time going. All right, perfect. Hey, thank you so much for the callback. Y'all have a good night. Okay, bye. All right, bye. All right, making all these calls. Let's call Mark. He said do call, right? Don't call. Do call. Pretty good. Sorry, you cannot leave a message for three six zero four. Huh. Do call, don't call, do call. Robert F. W. Whitlock. Hey, Bird! This is the program. You can call us back. You have about 
20 minutes today. Hey, how you doing? Good. Been a while, long time no see, no hear. Uh, yep, uh, a couple, few times I uh, popped up on YouTube when you guys are live. Uh, yeah, we're live now, right? Is it working? Uh oh. Uh oh, has it not, has it not been working this whole time? I don't know. I don't know if it's been live, bird. Um, call back here. You got 20 minutes. Are you driving? How's the baby? Okay, bye bye. <laughs> do I call Yellowfell or, or not anymore? I don't know. But I do call, I'll call my brother. He was thinking, my brother was watching, we were watching TV earlier. And he's like, hey, remember this thing? How you doing? You know? Yep. But that would be weird. Yep. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm here at the house. Yeah. What was that thing that you said? You were watching TV. You said, hey, I should say this on the program. Remember that? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, me <laughs> too. It's, uh, hey, isn't that ironic that I forgot? Is that, is it ironic? Yeah. Is that what irony is? So what is irony? Is that what, what we were gonna? Is that what we were gonna try to say? <laughs> what do people think? Fake irony is. What coincidence? That's what. Yeah, Carl was always saying, irony is coincidence. But you know what's not ironic? Um, uh, w rain on your wedding day. Oh yeah. Uh, you are a, f a free ride when you already paid. Yeah. 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 What? Well, maybe, maybe you think it's going to be sunny, but instead, it's not what you think happens. You know? I mean, what's, the irony is you're like, you're the, um, you're an arsonist, you know, but then you're, uh, your your loved one ended up at that building that you arsoned. Uh, uh, is that a coincidence? Maybe you. Uh, maybe okay. So you're an, you're an arsonist and you're you're burning down other buildings, but then a whole separate arsonist burns down the building where your loved ones are. That's like coincidence. That's not irony. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess I wouldn't, I guess you wouldn't expect that. You wouldn't expect either of those things. Yeah, was <laughs> Now I'm confused on the, what's the difference between coincidence and irony. Well, ir irony has, <coughs> has a dramatic flair to it. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, they're similar, but they're not quite, it's, it's like, I think irony has coincidence in it. That makes, yeah, I guess so. But it's yeah. Like squares and maybe, maybe, maybe a coincidence is ironic. Not always. But not the other way around or something like that. Squares and rectangles, maybe. Right, right, right. I don't know, we were watching the video of that guy with the fake hammer. Yeah. But that's not what it was. See, that's what I said. I said at the time, I said, don't try to remember things for a program. It's not going to work out. I don't know. Oh, no, that's what we're at. We're saying that, but I don't remember what we're saying about. Like, fake irony is the thing. That's what it was? Yeah. That's what the topic was? That's what it was. What is fake irony? What is fake irony? Yeah, because you know what irony is. Well, You're fake like, irony is you, anything. What do you think irony is, anyway? People, what do you think people think irony is? That's what it was. 
What do you think people think irony is? What do I think people think? Irony is. Right. If you could anything and do all, uh, anything you ever could, you could have any, 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 anything you want on. Oh yeah, that sounds like Dan Dobler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna record a message of the future. Okay. Oh, what the heck, what day is today? Uh oh. The tape, the message of the future tape is uncued. <sighs> Wait, what the heck? What tape is this? This is not the right tape. I gotta find the message of the future. What are you, uh, are you watching TV? Yeah, I don't know. I, I fell asleep now. The survivor is over. You were, you fell asleep watching TV and you woke back up? You don't know what it was? It was Survivor Man. Oh yeah. I was watching that. He was in the car. He, were, he was stuck in a car in the snow. Yeah, uh, and now Paul's writing Long and Winding Road. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know. That does not sound like a pretty good word there. I think, uh, lo Winding Road? Is that what he said? <laughs> Oh. I don't know. <laughs> you? Hey, hey, John. Do you John. really think we're bigger than Jesus? <laughs> I don't know. I think, hey, Paul. I think hey. we're bigger than Jesus. We're bigger than. That's all they ever say. Yep. He wakes up for breakfast. He sits down at the breakfast table. Yoko. <laughs> hey. Hello, Yoko. All, all you need is love. Yoko. Uh, Yoko, I was think I was writing a big list. I was thinking of writing a list of all the things that you need, but only one thing ended up on the list. Uh, uh, Emily's calling me. Bye. Bye. Hello. Oh no! Hey, what? All right, this tape Hello? is cute. Hello. What? What you saying? Well, I don't know. Uh, hold on. Well, I'm gonna record a message. Oh, all right, he's gone. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Emily was calling my brother. We're talking about irony and Survivor Man. And Freddie saw a bunch of things on the streets. And Mark said, "Don't call," and then do call. And we talked to Sam. The potential crew member, I guess he's on the crew now. Feet are kind of wet. Look out for the for water, you know, and your feet. Okay, bye, future. Look out for water on your feet because socks are absorbent. Oh, I wonder if Freddie found this tape. I was talking about this tape or something. Uh-oh, what's on this one? This is a tab. There's a tab to tape with nothing on it. What's in here? Now though. That's uh the um the ship tape. We're gonna look at this one again. That's one that I think I think we've looked at it once in the past, but we we'll keep looking. I guess this is the tape that was sitting there with a tab on it, but there's nothing, no labels. Hmm, what is this? Nothing? Oh, there's Titanic. That's actually Titanic. What is it? Oh, Sea Lab 2021, huh? Uh, old, uh, old TV? Alright, how about 2017? The past. Uh, Mr. Ginch is remaining silent, huh? And he's not telling us. Oh yeah, and he's not wanting to tell us the kind of meat 
mystery meat. So good. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, future. Bye. It's uh, Saturday. Mystery meat. It's us, the past. I passed. We're still here. We're doing okay. It's Sunday today. And um, it's Christmas, Christmas shopping. Dan came back from the Bay. I'm uh, accepting and like like rejecting the, the chains of holidays at the same time. Acknowledge them at least. I think uh, it was hey, future, it's us, the past. Wait, 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 we're, oh, where I'm over here. And we're, we're looking at these old yeah. messages yeah. to the past. Uh, what, do you, what do you have to say? He don't believe in ISIS. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yep. Yeah, right, live. Okay. Bye, future. Bye. Bye, future. Bye. Bye, future. Bye. All right. We have about eight minutes left. What do we do? Did we look at this yesterday? Wait, did I tip it? Oh, wait. Freddy was on that one. I'm confused about time a little bit. Okay, this is today. Friday. Thursday, and then we're gonna go to last Saturday, I guess. One week, even though we looked at Maldives yesterday, but I used to look at them every day. I had time, and I do have time, because Mark didn't answer. Don't call, do call. I mean, he left his phone number. I don't know. What do you want from me, Mark? The, are you watching the episodes and then being, it's like weird after that? I don't know. <laughs> future, it's us the past. Hey, future, where is the virus? Is it still here? Press the other You got the donut by McDonald's yet? Did you get more donuts? Who do you talk to? Okay, bye, future. Yep. Yep. That's the past. It's uh, Sunday. How many uh, years ago is the calendar that you can reuse with the weekdays? Oh, I didn't figure that one Eight? out yet. Sixteen? It's not four. Sure. We know that. Did you chew enough? Um, Yellowfellow's eating gluten-free bagels. What's, what even is it? To do with that, my future. Hello, future. Do you love Boba? I do. I'm indifferent. Where's Boba. James? Hiding. I got, Hiding. I got pizza. I put some stuff off of it. All right, bye, future. Bye. Bye, future. Bye. Uh, it's us, the past. Hey, future. Um... I have a bunch of candy from Halloween on my kitchen table, but I don't want to eat any of it, so I should throw it away or something. It's Tuesday. Uh, eat it. What happened? I don't even know. All right, bye, future. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye. the County Awards 2017 on the first. It's us, the past. Hey, future I ate nachos with beans two nights in a row and eating too much hot sauce because my butt, <laughs> my gut starts to burn a little bit. And oh, no. uh, uh, am I gonna eat a chili again and nachos tomorrow? I don't know, but I kind of want to. How many nights can I do it? Don't eat Arby's. Is this Sam on the crew yet? Bye, future. What do you have to say to the future, Luke? I have to say, um, I, I. I hope you succeeded in, in uh, subduing COVID-19, all variations, okay. you know, you, you won the race against the mutations, and we're all doing okay. Yeah. That yeah. way, anyway. Dan, yeah. Dan Dober's birthday is today, and... Uh, what the hell? That's, I know. Um, 
He's 69. Maybe that's why you saw me in the past, because, like, I was on an episode where uh, Freddie and I and maybe somebody else went with Dan Dobler to see the lights on somebody's lawn. Yeah, bye, yep. Future. Hey, Future, it's us in the past. Can you send a message and just make out past door? Uh, what else was happening? I I Far East again. Uh, had the how's how's how everything going? <laughs> Omicron, CI five. I'm trying to remember what y'all fall said. Hi. I don't have time to leave messages. Today. Bye, future. <laughs> you don't have time, huh? Make time. Emily was calling my brother. We're talking about irony and Survivor Man. And Freddie saw a bunch of things on the streets. And Mark said, don't call and then do call. And we talked to Sam, the potential crew member. I guess he's on the crew now. Feet are kind of wet. Look out for the for water, you know, and your feet. Yeah, okay, yeah, bye. Yeah, water. Um, somebody wrote the label on this tape on the wrong spot. They put it on the movie, moving, the moving part of the uh, tape. I don't yes. want to take hands with people. No, no. She, she was... Don't pull she up. Stand was here. Is that the guy's name? Name your boat. Don't put your own name on the side of the boat. I worked with this tugboat quite a few times. Is this a nice bathhouse? It's a coma. Yeah, those weird boat tents are still out there, I think. I don't think it's in one. Those poles are probably the same poles. I guess one of the things to just like show the landscape in general. You know, like some of the boats in the moon and stuff. I want to see this, like, what the whole pier looks like. You can't even get back far enough, maybe, to get uh, to sail. That's Irene. Are you getting Irene, honey? There goes Irene. Oh, that thing is still there. There's that. I recognize that thing. The little walking down the dock, chain link fence wheel. And those things are still there. Oh, you hear that? Shut up. Oh, 
All right, well, we'll look at that some more later on. Hey, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Freddie. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, Bird. Nobody. Except for Freddie, so maybe we'll call people again tomorrow. Because oh, Samuel answered. Uh oh, I gotta figure out how to do the thing. Saturday. Yesterday I deleted all the words from Freddy's thing. Again, without deleting it. Well, I don't know, 32, check it out. Yeah, what is it on YouTube? 36, 36, 34, call the message on TV. Yeah. What is it on Check it out. Well, that was a good song. Thank you. GCT is a baby doing that best. Oh, good books, sports star video, Mark Car Player, Rebecca, Stop Fire Compass, and County, Washington State, USA, thank you, and viewers, this year, watching, thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.